Cause I promise you, promise I'm better now Wouldn't hold it against you If you say that you don't wanna get close to me Close to what we used to be But I just feel like dancing Are you feeling it too? Oh baby Won't you love me? Won't you love me? Feels babe, won't you love me the old but kind of new way? Hello, friends, and welcome back to another video. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Anna, and I am a wife and a mom to three kiddos. And on my channel, I love to inspire and uplift you all while getting things done around the house. And I'm just a regular person just like you. I just happen to really love organizing and decluttering and just making my house a home for my family. Now, that does not mean that I love to clean. I do not, but it is necessary, and my house is certainly not always perfect. You will see that if you've been around here for very long because, well, we live in the house and I have three kiddos, so it's just not realistic to have a perfectly clean house all the time, but that's what I love about my channel is that I give you a look into our home that is realistic and what I'm trying to do to keep our house functioning and running in the best way possible for us. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, then hit that subscribe button and we would love to have you join our amazing YouTube community. So today's video is completely focused on the upstairs master bathroom. The drawers and the cabinets were messy, unorganized, and they were in desperate need of decluttering. I will not tackle the cabinet directly under my husband's sink. I wanted him involved in that. Plus, there really wasn't a whole lot there. But trust me when I say there was enough stuff in the other drawers and cabinets to keep us busy for the entire time. So, if you are ready to get some decluttering done today, go ahead and hit that like button and let's get started.
you will have to excuse my voice. I have been battling a sinus infection, so if I sound a little off, I am. <laughs> but what I'm doing here is I'm cleaning up the other side. Me and my husband share the top drawer. He has one side, I have mine. So I am going through this part um, of his stuff. Anything that was extra, I just put it up under his cabinet for him to go through later. But I just tried to tidy and clean out this little, um, little organizer just so it all looks nice and clean and tidy and then I'll let him do the bulk of his stuff so that's what you're seeing me do here and then I could not wait to get into this specific drawer it had all of my hair brushes and hair tools and things like that it was driving me nuts I was so ready to get it vacuumed out it had tons of hair and stuff in it it needed to be cleaned so bad and then also, if you notice me with my phone as I'm filming this, I am creating content for Reels as well. So if you're wondering why is she have her phone out, what is she doing, that is what I'm doing. I am creating double content all at one time, multitasking as mamas do best. And in case you're curious, from last week's pantry video, I used some shelf paper that I always talk about in my pantry organizing videos, which I'll leave that video linked below if you haven't checked it out yet. This is the same shelf paper. I love using it in so many different areas. It is just so wonderful for keeping your drawers or your shelves clean and cleared off from messes and stains and everything else. So I use this in a lot of spaces and you will recognize it throughout all of my house. Want the good, want the bad, all the feelings. Want you happy and sad in between them. If there's one thing I truly believe in, ordinary love, ordinary love. I wanna oversleep in your shirt, cause it's ours. Brush my teeth while you're taking a shower If there's one thing I know there is power In ordinary love, ordinary love One big area of this project that I was so excited to get done was this shelf right here. I use this shelf, the top shelf the most, and it has a wonky shelf there as you see and I get that fixed. I don't think I even show the footage of that, but I move it down and I put a screw in because there couldn't our pegs wouldn't fit and then it was sprayed and it was painted when it was with the shelves in it instead of taking them out. So there's a brown line when we move the shelf down just all kinds of you know our shelves were all our cabinets everything was brown in this house when we moved in so it anyways um i got that fixed it had been driving me nuts so i was ex so excited to get that done but i'm literally just pulling everything out getting rid of things that were bad or expired were not going to be used and just really kind of just trying to simplify and declutter this space and i just wanted to tell you that you do not have to be on a mission to declutter and simplify things like I am. I want you to always take what you can from my videos and if nothing else, just use me as a friend to keep you 
you company while you are cleaning or whatever it is you, you are doing. You do not have to be decluttering. Your house does not have to look like mine. You do not have to be getting rid of things like I am. Maybe you are not in a space where you need to get rid of stuff or you don't want to. I just want to encourage you, wherever you are, whatever stage that looks like, just do what works for you and what is best for your family and to help your family. For me, I really needed to go through this space and get rid of some things. There was nail polishes and just tons of things that I need to get rid of. I had lots of boxes from, you know, like creams and different prescriptions and stuff for me or my family that I wanted to hold on to in case we ever needed to know what it was, but it was taking up space in several different locations. I wanted to consolidate that into one area where I knew where to look for it. So declutter or simplify in a way that works for you. Go through things and always take what you want and leave the rest. That's what I always want to tell people. My house doesn't need to look like your house. I might have more stuff than you want, or I might have less stuff than you want. Just make your house a home and constantly be reassessing and reorganizing and revamping things in a way that works best for you. There's that brown line way back in the very back. So you can barely even tell. <laughs> Anyways, I just was feeling so good getting this done, and I also wanted to encourage you that bite off little pieces and do things at a pace that does not bring you more anxiety than it does joy. If you can only do one little space like I did here, that is perfect, and that's what I want to encourage you to do is always do things that make your life easier, make you happier, bring joy for you and your family. Don't ever bite off something or a project that brings you more anxiety than it does anything else because then that's not helping. So always go at your own pace and do things in a fashion and an order that works for you. As always, my sweet friends, I cannot thank you enough for clicking on my video today, for liking and subscribing to my channel, for sharing this with your friends. All of that love and encouragement to me means more than I can ever express to you in words. So thank you so much for all of your support for my channel. I hope you are leaving this channel today with some inspiration, some encouragement to tackle a space in your home to help you do a better job of making your house a home for you and your family. I hope that you can tackle something today and just feel better about your space. I will leave you with another video. If you haven't checked out my pantry video, I will leave that linked below. There's always a video at the very end to keep you going, keep you motivated and inspired. And until next time, friends, take care.